bike lane all the way from Long Island City to Jamaica. Woo! My friend Laura uh, and me were talking last uh, November and came up with this idea of doing like a women's march, but like a bike ride. And we've had many meetings with other women in the community, other women in the transportation groups. We put out the invite, we thought maybe 100, maybe 150, and we did not have 300 people. It's important to celebrate the women in cycling. We have women mechanics, we have kick-ass women advocates, we have educators, and we're 50% of the whole movement. We're getting ready to go. Again, the rules are always yield to pedestrians, stop at all red lights, listen to the marshals, and have a good time. The sun is coming out now right in time for the Women's Ride on Queens Boulevard. We started to organize like more than like three months ago and we've had 370 people registered. Yeah. Do you like riding Queens Boulevard? Yeah. Does it, does, it, does it feel a little safer now? Yeah. Awesome! Woo! Woo! Happy fun! It feels amazing. I'm so glad to be part of this event. I feel the warmth. You brought the kid, brought the husband. So my kid has never ridden Queens Boulevard and we've driven along it and it's one of those kinds of things that's just like this is somewhere where I would never want to bike but we're going to prove that that's not true. We're going to prove that any street, any road, any avenue could be a place to bike. It's good to see all these women here today. We have to do more campaigning. More bike lanes like this. Yeah. yeah, that's what, yeah, make it more mainstream for more women to ride. What I'd like to see better is more protected infrastructure, more bike lanes, but also, you know, when a woman goes to buy a bike, a lot of times you have these very condescending uh, men who think that uh, they're superior to you. And you buying a bike and buying and buying parts and buying gloves can be very daunting for a woman who's just trying to get a ride. I've written about women's equality in cycling, and I think this is a great way to draw attention to the issue. I think the biggest thing to support equality in cycling, both among genders and just among people, you know, that haven't been on a bike before in a city, is just better infrastructure. Um, we have a real lack of good protected bike lanes in this city, and we've seen that whenever a new one goes in, just more and more people get on bikes. Big Screens Boulevard! Big Screens Boulevard! Big Screens Boulevard! This is the spine of the future bike network in Queens. It runs all the way from the bridge to Queensboro Hall. Many young girls are discouraged from biking after the age of seven. So many of my friends have not owned a bike since they were kids, and when I ask them why, the common answer I get is where would I ride, I won't get killed. 43rd and Steelman is very dangerous, and we need a protected bike lane because a lot of people and um, commuting, cyclists, delivery people, they travel to Manhattan from Corona, Jackson Heights, East Enforce, Enforce, and also Sunnyside and Astoria. And we need that bike lane urgently. I see so many people out on this bike lane all at once. Uh, everybody's riding and having a good time. It just makes me really optimistic. It's amazing to be out here with all these people riding Queens Boulevard. See this whole new bike lane that I've not seen before. See Get to ride in. it. See the Queens Mall. Everything's great. The traffic on Queens Boulevard is not so bad on the weekend. So people do a lot of complaining about it, but it's really smooth sailing for cars and for us. We have 300 cyclists and uh, all different ranges of riding and experience. Everyone's having a good time and doing great.